Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Pete's Carport. Today's episode is going to be a lot different than any of the episodes I've ever done. We're now uh, approaching a car that I just purchased, um, picked up a 2001 Honda Civic for $200. The car is basically non-drivable right now from what I know. It'll start, sputter out, and stall. But we paid $200 for it. So just now I went down to Harbor Freight and picked up um, this Zurich ZR4. Um, I've got it out of the box right now. That's how it looks, Oop, upside down. That's how it looks. So we're gonna test this out. Um, there's the car right there. I'm gonna get out and we're gonna go ahead and check it out. And we're gonna run some scans on this and see what codes we get. All right, and there she is in all her glory. Not the worst interior I've ever seen. In fact, there's no uh, tears or rips. The headliner is gone, very common in Florida. Other than that, you know, your basic, uh, it does have a upgraded CD player, you know, nothing much, but uh, automatic. And it does have over 200,000 miles, which I'll show you guys. But this, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly run a scan on it. And I'm gonna get that set up right now. So you're basically just gonna plug this scanner up to your OBD2 port, which uh, on this Honda Civic is really easy accessible there. Uh, this does have a longer cord. And then once we uh, turn the car on, we're gonna have power to this. I believe this is just a, yeah, it's just a sticker on there. So let me get that sticker off. That's just to kind of show you. Actually, it's, uh, it lights up as soon as you plug it in. That's my bad. Um, we're gonna go through the settings here. So basically with the ignition off, like just the car with no key in it, um, I was able to plug it in and ask me what language I hit English. And now it's going through this. When I tried to turn the key on, it actually turned the device off. So I'm thinking um, we have to have the car off and it's probably gonna come up and tell us to turn uh, the ignition to the on point. So let's wait for this, it's at 67%. Hopefully we can get this thing to scan. Like I said, I just picked this up real quick from Harbor Freight, they had a uh, Easter sale on it. I wanted to see what the codes were on this car and uh, get a better idea before we have this thing towed off. Okay guys, so I got the codes to come up. So basically you have to plug it in um, with the ignition off, select your language, and then you've got to turn the ignition on and it will go through a scan that takes a few minutes. Um, I started to go through the codes. Um, there was a P, I think 402 or 420, um, and now it's a P0301 for a misfire in cylinder one, which is one of the things I suspected. Uh, P0302 misfire in cylinder number two and cylinder number four. So there's a good chance that um, we're getting uh, some kind of misfires due to um, either spark plugs or the ignition coils. Uh, random misfire detected. There it is, P0420. That's the first one. Catalyst, catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank number one. Um, and then it says here, uh, same thing on the, uh, the, then you go through here and it says severity, two of three repair immediately. Um, I'm gonna do a little more re research on this one here because it talks about um, that. And then it gives you these uh, different uh, options here, which are kind of neat. That says fuel system one, fuel system two the load and so forth, which um, obviously these can come in very handy when trying to uh, figure out exactly what's wrong with the car. But there is a good chance that uh, we're getting misfires um, due to uh, either the coils or spark plugs. So uh, we might be able to get this car running uh, a little bit easier than we thought. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know, look up some of these codes and we're gonna get back to the car. Just wanted to show you guys the car real quick. I picked it up for 200 bucks. Hopefully we can get this thing running. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys some updates. Okay, so kind of crazy. Um, this is still Easter. I got online to check to see if I can get some coils delivered. Got on Amazon and it was about 11 o'clock, not even, not quite noon yet. And I placed an order for a four pack of coils for the Honda Civic and just got an update that it's gonna be delivered in the next 10 minutes. Um, pretty cool too, now on Amazon you can see where the driver is if you haven't uh, noticed that yet on the uh, updated features. So kinda of cool, just waiting right now. Uh, me and my daughter are gonna drive out and see if we can swap these coils out tonight, get her started, and maybe bring her back, so stay tuned. All right guys, so uh, last night Amazon failed and uh, never delivered even though it showed that they were right around the corner. Um, but this morning, first thing, they did deliver. I called them last night and unfortunately the driver had issues and they couldn't tell me exactly what it was. But coils are here, um, cars right there. 
I'm gonna do a quick walk around and show you guys that I wasn't able to do that last time because I was trying to be in and out quick. But we know that um, I think coils one, two, and four are the ones that are shot. But we're gonna replace all four coils to see if we can get this thing started and running. So hang on, guys. All right, so let's just do a quick walk around. Obviously, some damage there. The car is very far from anywhere near perfect. Um, it needs paint. It's got some body damage here and there, some dents. I showed you guys the interior uh, earlier in the video, and um, the front looks pretty good. It's just going to need some, you know, polishing on the headlights. We're going to make this look as good as possible and make it a very affordable car that I'm probably just going to flip running. Um, if we can't get it running the way that we want it and feel comfortable, we are going to part it out which we hope we don't have to because from what I see, we can get this running. It does have newer tires. So let's go ahead and pop the hood and we're gonna get started on the coil change. Okay guys, so this is a fairly simple job, very easy for anyone to do, really. Um, you just have a cover here and these are just little clips that turn, half turn, and pop off. You slide that off, you can access your coils. Um, your screws right here are 10 millimeter. Um, I think, oh, that one's off there. These just pull right out. You can see this engine is extremely dirty, uh, covered in grease. So I'm going to make sure I clean everything down. We're going to apply some dielectric grease to our new coils, pop them in and see uh, if we can get this thing running. All right, so we got the um, coils out. And as you can see down in, not the first one, the first one's dry, but three, four, uh, two, three, and four are filled with oil. So we're going to get all that oil out and we're going to drop our new coils in and see if we can get it started. All right, we're going to try to start it up. We got the coils changed out. Let's grab the key. As you guys saw the car was dropped off at the new shop yes the new shop so one of the things I wanted to introduce in this video is the fact that me and one of our subscribers which I'm going to introduce you guys to have rented a new shop so that we can start working on cars flipping cars and having fun with the other cars that we have unfortunately tonight dropping off that car uh, the triple a driver ran over the fence so I've been dealing with that all night but I wanted to fill you guys in the Honda Civic did start shortly after that video we did not get it on video but it poured out oil and it was knocking like a train so we're still going to attempt to get this thing running and back on the road highly doubt it's gonna happen but we still have hope if not we have another Honda Civic on the way and we're going to basically use this one as a parts car and build up a Honda Civic and flip it and show you guys video footage of that so hopefully you guys enjoyed there's lots of videos to come there's lots of content coming and we're going to be doing a lot of series on how to buy a car build it properly sell it with confidence and make some money so guys take care this is pete this is pete's carport we're going to continue building cars working on cars and showing you guys what to do have a great day and thanks again for subscribing